So remember, plus and minus will remain the same, but only that will change, okay? Those which are multiply, they will become divide. Those which are divide, they will become multiply. In case of multiplicative identity, plus and minus remain same, but the number will become upside down. If you have only three, suppose, remember in the denominator, there is always one which is hiding. So in that case, the reverse will be 1 by 3 or any other number also. So here you can see clearly, if we have A, the multiplicative inverse will be 1 by A. Okay, so next property of 0. If we multiply any number by 0, the answer will become 0. Then for multiply, we have a new property that is known as distributive property. From the word itself, distribute means give to someone else, right? Here we have A into B plus C. You may have plus or you may have minus. This is the rule which we used to apply when we multiply something. So what to do? A, you have to multiply to B. A, you have to multiply to C. Whether you have plus or whether you have minus, okay? You have to do like that. A into B, A into C, like that. Either plus or minus. Such property, we call it distributive property. A new property, we call distributive. From the name itself, we have to distribute whether plus or minus, okay? A, you have to multiply with B. A, you have to multiply with C. So, if it is plus, you write here plus. If it is minus, also you write so this which are inside bracket, you write only one one. This outside bracket, you have to write twice. So such kind of property we call distributive property. Then next we will see for division. Uh, the closure property, see here also, 12 divided by 3, we get 4. So 12 is integer, 3 is integer, 4 is integer. So closure property is there. But here you can see, 4 divided by 2, we get 2. 2 we cannot divide by 4. So that means there will be no commutative property for division. Here also, if you divide, they will not be equal. Okay, because you can take this example here. 24, 4 get 6. 6 divide 2, we get 3. But 4 divide 2, 2 here, you see, they are not equal. So the property will not be there for division. Then 1, property of 1, remember, if we divide any number by 1, the answer will be equal to that number itself only. Then if 0, we divide it by any number, it will become, the answer becomes 0. But any number divided by 0 is not defined. That means till now, we don't know how to divide a number by 0. So whenever you see the denominator equal to 0, remember it is not yet defined. So here you just have a look those, okay? Um, closure property, it holds for addition. Commutative also, associative also, property of 0, property of 1, and we have 0 as additive identity. Then uh, we have closure for subtraction, but we don't have commutative, associative. Uh, we do have property of 0, we do have predecessor, and then we don't have additive identity. Then multiplication, closure property, it is there. Then here we have the uh, commutative we have, associative we have, then property of zero we have, then uh, multiplicative identity and also multiplicative inverse. Then for division, those property does not hold. So using that, we will see this fill in the blank, okay? Exercise 1.2, you do only question 1 and 2. Here, 27 divide 27, we will get 1. You have 1 remainder, or oh, sorry, 1 minus, you put minus. Then here, we have 0, so that means we can put there 0. 15 into 0 will become 0. Then here, uh, answer, if we divide, you should get 1. So that means 1 to 5 only. Then, 13 minus what number will give us 0? So it will be minus 13 only, okay? Because minus to minus plus 13 minus 13, 0. Then here you have 7, 3, 6. 7, 3, what number is missing? Minus 6. Then you will have this one. 
state true or false, zero into minus four, we get zero, so it will be true. 12 minus 12, zero, true. Minus three, minus one, both are minus. What to do, we have to plus. So since both are minus, we have to put minus, okay? So answer is minus four, but here we get minus two, so it is false. Four divided 16, we get four, here we have minus, so it's true. Then 16 minus zero, we should get 16, but here it's written 0, so it's fall. Uh, minus to minus plus 8 into 1, 8, but here we have minus, so it is also false because answer should come as A, okay? Then this revision exercise in your book, you will get it at the end of your book, okay? Please check it. Here you have to write the additive inverse of this. So remember, you have minus 6, the additive inverse will be opposite of minus, it will be plus 6. Then additive inverse of 17, it is plus. The answer will be minus 17. Then multiplicative inverse. Remember here, we have to write up, sound, down. Okay? The multiplicative inverse, in the denominator, we don't have number, so we have to write 1. So the multiplicative inverse of minus 10, it will be 1 by minus 10. The multiplicative inverse of 12, it will be 1 by 12. In your book, you will find it at the end of your book. Okay, please check.